check this laptop now. I bought it earlier and it's a pretty good laptop for the money. It's an ASUS laptop with a certain amount of features that I wanted. So I'm going to do undo the box right now. Basically, this this is an ASUS laptop, um, 15 inch screen, and I got this because I needed a um, I needed certain specs so I'll go through what I was looking for and I didn't want to spend more than around a thousand dollars I you know didn't want to you know, a little bit over a little bit under so I, I, I got this laptop for it was one thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars I bought it at Best Buy I normally would probably try to order something like this on Amazon but I was had to get this on short notice so they ha I did some research and they this was not in their display shelf since they had it in stock but I had to find it online so the thing is here's the things that I want for one thing I wanted touch screen and um, this is a 15 inch touch screen also I want I, I, I like glossy screens I don't like matte screens so I wanted something glossy and touch screens normally are glossy so this happened to also have that um, feature to it the other thing is it needed a good graphics card an Nvidia card G4 you know some kind of GeForce card so this has a GTX 1050 which you know it's not the best it's not it's not a 1080 it's not even a 1660 but the 1050 is definitely good enough for you know, playing any modern games or um, pretty much, you know, it, it, you'll be able to get by with that. It's got a Core i7 um, 8th generation, so it's like an 8700, something like that. Actually, I'm not sure the exact number, but it is an 8th generation. So that in combination with the, with the uh, GeForce 1050 is going to let you play, you know, I could play Destiny 2 at 60 frames a second, no problem. Um... So I had that, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I wanted that as well. I wanted the boot drive to be an SSD, which it is, but it's it's only a 256 gigabyte SSD boot drive, but it, ha it has a two terabyte mechanical hard drive with it as well. So, you know, I've got enough space to load applications on the main drive, and then I get two terabytes to put games or whatever just back other data I want in there. Plus both the drives are upgradable. So if I want, I can upgrade the 256 gig um, boot drive to like a you know 512 or one terabyte SSD eventually if I want. So it's got that stuff. Plus, um, yeah, I mean that, that was, you know, Oh, and the and the CPU, I believe it's burstable to like four point six gigahertz, so that's another good thing. So it's it, it is technically a gaming, you know, kind of multimedia laptop. It, you know, that was part of the specs on it that they're advertising as being a gaming touchscreen laptop. So you know, I pretty much met that. The only thing, like I said, that I would have rather liked the the main the SSD drive to be more than two hundred twenty six gig. I would have liked it be a terabyte that was the only drawback but for the price of 11.99 i mean all in all i mean the, G, the the geforce card could have been a little bit better than 1050 but all in all i mean 
seems, and Asus is a pretty good brand, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. Now I gotta set the thing up, which is gonna take some time. But, and you know, you can flip it back, you know, so it's got a full, it's, it's convertible, you know. Also, it comes with um, Windows 10, but, you know, it's got Windows 10 Home, which I'm going to have to, up, I'm going to want to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. Okay, what, one more thing I was going to mention about this laptop is the fact that it does have a 4K display. So it's got a full 4K screen. So that's going to look pretty good. And then the charger, it has a USB-C, but not Thunderbolt. So that's too bad, but, you know, it's got a USB-C anyway. Um, and then it's got this charger, which is it's a good size charger, huh? It's a pretty good size charger. So anyway, that's that's it. Thanks. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this. And um, yep, that's about it. So we'll see how this works. Maybe I'll let you know how this works in a future video.